Damn, I ain't know Joe Budden ain't have no love for Vitaly. You look, the caption alone says he thinks Joe Vitaly allegedly is a clown for what he's doing on Twitch. You know, he's been doing those viral, viral streams with different rappers. My favorite one has been the one with Akon. That was crazy. That was insane. The fact he was with Akon singing, You about to get locked up. They not gonna let you out. And the, and the PDF file was there dancing. Oh, this is my favorite song. They not gonna let you out. You got about to get locked up. Then the police come. And while he's getting locked up, to Akon singing locked up, like, nah, this is that's a story you gotta tell in prison. Like, they ain't even gonna believe that. You won't believe it. Akon was there when I got arrested. He was singing karaoke. You gonna about to get locked up. You might wanna sing along with me. Uh, no, huh, huh. You're about to get locked up. They won't let you out. They won't Please. let you out. Please. Locked up. They won't let you out. Please. Please. They won't. Boy, you about to get locked uh, up. They won't oh let you out. Uh, they won't uh, let you uh, out, man. Locked. Actually, you don't. That's a story you don't even want to tell in jail. We've seen people like the game come in there. Game wasn't on some funny time. Game was actually scaring the shit out of people. He smacked this nigga with a pop. How old are you? How old are you? How? Wack 100 and a whole bunch of other members was in the building. That episode looked terrible. French Montana was there. And you know he's not the same Coke boys that it used to be back in the day. Fans ain't showing up the same to those concerts. Not even the PDF files showed up that day. That episode was kind of dry. It was a right. Little Pump take that shit zero to a thousand. He kicked somebody in the head. I can't even show that here. Go look that up. Little Pump kicked somebody on Vitaly's live stream. Hey, man. <laughs> go, 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 go. But Tally's live stream has been crazy. Super entertaining to me. Super entertaining. I've been watching them. Every time they pop up my recommended on YouTube, I throw it on four hour streams. Joe Budden is not a fan. Joe Budden has some words to say about Vitaly. Let's go through this quick clip and then see what Joe has to say and then react to it. Subscribe to the channel. Comment down below. Please share your thoughts. Are you a fan of what Vitaly's doing? Or do you think he's just clout chasing using PDF files and children endangerment just as, you know, as a hook because it's working? Let me know down below your thoughts. Or do you think he actually cares and wants to bring the end to this? Nobody was mad at Chris Hansen back in the day. We used, I, I definitely used to watch Dateline NBC like a horror film as a kid. I used to be a kid watching Dateline NBC like, oh my God, under the cover. This is terrifying. This is scary. We will be doing a giveaway at 10,000 subs. Let's get into this. I'm sick of that rapper predator show. Finished. It's weird. The Akon, the Akon sh today. Wasn't he singing Locked Up to him? He was. <laughs> it's weird. It was weird before Akon started singing Locked Up. It was weird when Game tried to slap the n up. It was weird when him and Wack 100 surrounded dude in front of the Camry. It was weird when YG went over there and called dude a bozo and a weirdo. Like, the fact that y'all got predators lined up every day, a new one. The n you making them eat Cheerios. You mushing them n are these guys really predators or not? That's and why are, is every rapper rushing to catch a predator? Shut the f up. You need, now y'all with this dude making some other n equity f go through the sky. I hate that rappers are just the f I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I'm with Quavo, they said Quavo took 300000 and didn't show up. The Good. Clap it up for Quavo. <laughs> Yo, I'm taking your money, and I think that shit you do is weird. Sue me. Bye. Yeah, he took, yeah, he took the deposit. Okay. Yo, rappers, y'all don't have to be a part of everything. You yeah. don't. I don't care what your A&R said or what your publicist said or what your label head said. Some shit is okay to skip. This looks weird. So Joe basically ha hates how rappers are always used to build equity. That sounds like that's the real issue with it. He says it looks weird and all that, but when you start really hearing the bass to it, he just hates how rappers are always the first to jump on whatever trend, dancing on TikTok. All right, let's go make some TikTok dancing music. This nigga's catching predators. All right, cool. We about to get on our Chris Hansen for the week. It's just whatever is currently hot at the moment, and I understand. I don't think it's them. It's the label. It's the label trying to send them to go out there to get popularity because that's what all the kids are watching. That's what all the young people are watching right now. Go over there. Everybody's on Twitch with Aiden Ross in that room sitting there freestyling. Go over there. Whatever's going on, you're going to go if you're an artist and a label and you have to listen to your label hence why you usually don't see the independent artists doing it all it's one they don't really get that look two even if they do get that look is that something they want to do they can make that own decision themselves young ma stayed independent i believe i think she just sound like she just sound like a distribution deal i might be wrong but that's what i believe and that's why young ma you've really never seen her out there doing the moves that all the other people were doing at her time even though she had one of the biggest records and it's hilarious on how i brought up the akon that was just crazy coincidence and then this was the day of akon that's hilarious joe and you can hear everyone 
I was Melissa and everyone like, yo, nah, it was weird. To me, it was dumb funny, but I can see both ways. Maybe it's because I was a fan of Chris Hansen back in the day in the Dateline NBC show. I used to like that show a lot. I ain't even gonna lie. Crazy episodes, crazy. I was super young, so I didn't even like hit me like that at the time. And then when I got older, I saw some clips on YouTube, like with an Indian man running around butt naked around the crib. Like I was just like, yo, this is wild. Like, how do you just have these dudes lined up for a show? Like, this is crazy. And a lot of people have been saying Vitaly might be faking the show. A lot of people have been saying that it might be actors. That's why every time he's on live stream, he be saying, yo, you guys think it's fake. This is real. This is real. Because people are like, yo, how's this nigga doing this and not getting arrested? I get it. But he's out here slapping niggas, shape, sh shaving people's hair, giving them hot Cheerios, hot gummy bears, bugging out, doing different challenges. You do this and go home or you go to jail. And it's sometimes like, yo, you wouldn't be charged with assault like when Little Pump kicked the shit out that dude. Like, you wouldn't be charged with assault. Little Pump spit on somebody. You wouldn't be charged with assault. Subscribe to the channel. Comment down below. Please share your thoughts about everything going on. Do you agree with Joe? Do you hate it? Or you can kind of see the viral in it and you're just trying to take it for as is. We've seen other people do this like Skeet Hansen. Skeet Hansen's another one that's how hilarious to me what's his name face rugs i believe he was on there with a lamborghini when they did a giveaway they did a corvette giveaway that was hilarious jideon's been on mad at them ski hands and one so funny but is everyone a fan or you got but is everyone really a fan of it or do you guys think some of it is weird maybe i just think the good like oh no they're taking predators off the block or at least getting some scared because yo it's viral right now you can get caught but i used to watch chris hansen and some people used to walk in and be like oh i know exactly what this is i know i watch this all the time so people started getting popular at that time the daylight nbc can this be our version of that let me know down below and share your thoughts the only difference with Chris Hansen was the cops were outside. Remember, he always said, I'm not holding you still. You are free to go at any time. As soon as they be like, all right, cool. They walk out. Freeze! Cops jump up on. The Vitaly one is not really at executed exactly this. Share your thoughts. Sub up if you want to be part of that giveaway. We will be doing it at 10,000 subscribers.